Hello, welcome to Mastering Fifth Grade Math. My name is Jason. I'll be your host in this lesson. And here we're going to be talking about comparing decimals. So we'll be giving you two decimals, and I'll be basically asking you which one of these decimals is the larger one. And you'll have to put the greater than or less than sign in there in order to show me uh, that you understand which of these decimals is bigger or smaller than the other one. It's a really important skill because when you first start learning about decimals, you know, you're a little bit fuzzy usually with exactly what all the digits mean because you have the tenths place and the hundredths place and the thousandths place and we've, all, we've talked about that and I think you understand it, but this lesson is going to prove to yourself that you really do understand it. So first let's review something really simply. Um, a simple about um, greater than less than. If I give you two numbers, let's let's call them um, two and four, and I ask you to put greater than, less than, or equal to there, um, the greater than sign looks like this, right? The less than sign looks like this, and of course the equal sign you all know looks like this. So which of these symbols do you need to put in here? Well, you know they're not equal, so you can't put the equal sign in here. The way you decide what symbol to put in there is extremely simple. It's very simple. I'm going to tell you the secret. Not all teachers will tell you this, but I'm going to tell you the secret, okay? The arrow for the less than or greater than, the arrow, it always points to the smaller number. Always, 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 always. You point that arrow to the smaller uh, number, and then you will always get the right answer. All right, so in this case, uh, because I have a 2 on the left and a 4 on the right, I'm going to point it this way because the arrow always points to the smaller number. Right? What if I have, um, let's say we have uh, 7 and, I don't know, we'll put 3 over here. Okay? And I'm asking you, which way does the arrow point? Well, I don't even have to think about it. It always points to the smaller number. So the way you read this is 2 is less than, the tip of the arrow means uh, less than. 2 is less than 4, and the big part of the arrow means greater than. So 7 is greater than 3. So that's how you read this. And that all makes sense, but sometimes people get confused on which way the thing needs to point. You just need to remember it always points to the smaller number. Always. All right. Now what we're going to do is do exactly the same idea, but instead of whole numbers, I'm going to give you decimals on both sides of, of the symbol, and you're going to have to help figure out which direction it points. So it's not a hard concept. We just need to get some practice um, so that you can get comfortable with this. So if I give you the number 1.4, and I also give you the number 1.5, you need to decide, am I going to put greater, less than, or equal to? Well, you know it's not going to be equal to. The first digit is the same, that's true, and then we each have a decimal spot, or a decimal point, but the 4 and the 5 are clearly not the same number, so they cannot be equal. So you're not going to do that. So um, what you need to do now is figure out which one is going to be uh, greater than, which one is the bigger number, which one is the smaller number, basically. So you start looking at digits. You compare the first digit of each one. Well, they're exactly the same, so I can't make a decision there. So then I go to the next digit. Right after the decimal point, now we're looking at, de at numbers that are after the, the uh, decimal point. So here we have a 4, here we have a 5. There's only one digit after the decimal, this one is the smaller number, and there are no more digits to look at, so we always point to the smaller number. All right, so first, the way you do this is you always look at the numbers before the decimal point, and if you can clearly see that, that one of them is bigger or smaller because of the numbers in front of the decimal point, then you can go ahead and, and, and point the arrow. But if all the numbers are the same that before the decimal point, then you have to look at the numbers after the decimal point. 